The Indy Autonomous Challenge is the fastest autonomous racing in the world. Ten cars lined up together, running 200 miles an hour around Indianapolis Motor Speedway, fully autonomous, with no inputs from humans. This is not something that's been done before. To compete with other cars at the kind of speeds that we're talking about, that sort of close proximity to other autonomously driven vehicles, and the winner of the race on October 23rd is gonna receive a million dollars. AD Link was turned on. The way the challenge is defined is primarily a software problem because the cars are all identical, the sensor package, the computing hardware, all of those things are identical on all of the vehicles. And so it really is gonna come down to the, the software and algorithms that are chosen to be able to drive the vehicle. We have 10 teams here. There are 10 different approaches to this challenge. Everyone's trying to do it differently. We'll end up with 10 different sets of code that does 10 different things. Red and yellow are solid. Autonomy and transportation is coming. We're going to be to the point that we can build sensors that can see better than humans and can react faster than humans and can do all of those things better and faster than humans. Making all the right decisions all the time is, is, is a, going to be, I think, the biggest challenge. But, you know, these are the sort of problems that this Indy Autonomous Challenge is helping push forward. Racing has always pushed the limits on vehicle safety. And in the end, this type of challenge and problem we're trying to solve will be pushed back to passenger vehicles when they're in a position where they need to understand the grip and what they need to do to maneuver or avoid a crash. I first met Cole when he was a freshman here at the university working on the FSAE car. He's also, he's my uh, PhD student at the moment. Once the opportunity came up to do this uh, Indy Autonomous Challenge, I think it's a great learning opportunity for him as well as something that we both really enjoy doing. It would mean an awful lot to see the Crimson Autonomous vehicle do really well at the competition. It would, it would be great on the financial side. That's a lot of money that they're offering up uh, in this competition, but it would also be huge bragging rights you know, for the university and be something I would hope we could all take some pride in. It's days like today where I've had half of the day on pit lane that I, I'm realizing like what we're trying to achieve and it, it will be an amazing sight October 23rd when these cars are moving full speed.